Capricorns. Welcome to your weekly reading for love, August 2nd to the 11th for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing really good. I had a really great visit with my mom. I dropped her off at the airport last night, and now I am back to work. Um, it was a really great time. We had a really great time for her birthday. My cat being me, though, is like, time to get back to work. <laughs> um, so guys, just so you know, for anybody who's been with me for a while, I'm no longer doing the pre-shuffle portion of these readings just to save uh, some time. Still going to go over the meditative session, and we're still, of course, going to do the reading. And for my newbies, you know, <laughs> Clyde's here. Hi, Clyde. Um, and for my newbies, don't even worry about it because you're new, right? <laughs> okay, so... Capricorn in the meditative session was really interesting. I actually saw a lot of different writing utensils. Some of you could be writing, some of you could be signing some contracts. I did hear set in stone. Set in stone. And Capricorns, I do feel like someone wants to lock you in. <laughs> wants to lock you in, lock you down, uh, make sure that it is for sure finalized, set in stone, whatever it is they want to lock you down into, whether it's a job, a business, some kind of contractual agreement or a relationship of some kind. For some of you, it's definitely a relationship. I just got to be honest. Um, some of you could be students. You know, you could just write a lot for school or for your profession. You could be writers. Um, I do this feel this energy of like of study. I feel like someone's studying you, Capricorn. I feel like someone's studying you. I feel like someone wants to make an approach or an offer of some kind. Even They might even just bring a contract to you like, hey, Capricorn, we want to sign you. Hey, Capricorn, we want you to do this. Or Capricorn, I love you. You want in with me or what? <laughs> um, but they're almost like afraid. They're a little hesitant. I think they're worried on... Oh, focus. I think they're worried on the approach. They're worried about how you're going to react. Uh, they're worried about how the communication is going to go about this offer or this conversation. And Capricorns, your energy feels awesome. I feel like you guys are practically like, like, how do I say this? I don't like skipping for joy. Is that like, is that a term jumping for joy? You guys are really happy right now. You're really happy. You guys are doing well in your, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, he's like, you're not paying attention to me. God damn it. Um, you guys are doing really well for yourselves right now and you're just really, really happy. It feels really great. I feel like you guys have purged a lot. I feel like you guys have done a lot of um, inner healing from the uh, major eclipse energy. We're, we're gonna have that for the rest of the year, but when it's like just happening, it's very fresh and very intense. And I feel like you guys did a lot of purging, a lot of inner work during that time and it's showing. It's very much showing and you're just enjoying yourself right now. Some of you are very aware that there's this person kind of studying you this person wanting to approach you wanting to talk just wanting to talk about things but i think there's been a lot of miscommunication between the two of you you know this person it wouldn't it, sh it won't be too much of a surprise if it's work related i think it will be if it's work related it'll be a surprise for you if it's more about like friendship or social something social like a love situation you already know this person capricorn and this energy of set in stone is very strong around you i do feel like someone really wants to lock you in they don't want to lose you to someone else and if it's a job offer they don't want to lose you to another company or another what have you in whatever field you're in okay all right capricorns let's go ahead and get into this someone sees your worth they see your value they see your value they see it as being very valuable a major asset to their life and to their business because some of you this is definitely work related some of you this is definitely work related any messages for my capricorns oh we're starting the reading <laughs> sorry i just like i just kind of got in the natural flow we're starting the reading officially okay any messages for capricorn some of you guys are definitely going to be traveling a lot uh for the next two three two three uh, two to three months. Some of you are going to be doing a lot of heavy traveling, unexpected traveling. It's going to be fun though. Capricorns, you're having a lot of fun right now. You're having a lot of fun. I feel like some of you were maybe a little bit hung up on a person for a while, but you've moved past that and the eclipse energy helped you with that. You've moved past it. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. Any messages for Capricorn? Now I'm seeing stairs. This is interesting. Um, some of you are definitely climbing that corporate ladder, man. Some of you are definitely doing that. I'm also getting um, like 12-step program, a little bit of a 12-step program. Some of you might be deciding to start one or you might be at the tail end of your 12 steps. Congratulations if you are. Oh, actually, congratulations either way. I mean, that's not an easy thing to do. Any messages for Capricorn? Whoa, 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 whoa cards flying 
Wow, world in reverse, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, which does rule Capricorn. And then we have the hangman in reverse, Piscean energy, enlightenment, major, major enlightenment and a lot of spiritual growth, Capricorn. You've realized a lot about yourself in the recent past. You've realized a lot about yourself that maybe you were blind to before for whatever reason or another. You're actually really awakening to your strength. I like that Capricorn and what you're really capable of you might have even surprised yourself with a recent success or a recent milestone or achievement that you've had for yourself either way you're, you're becoming aware of that and the world in reverse you're also realizing that you're putting a lot of um, stuff behind you a lot of stuff behind you the old way of seeing yourself is gone I like that the old way of seeing yourself is gone okay Let's see what else is going on here any other messages for Capricorn? Using Spellcaster's deck as the primary. Some of you guys were asking. I could just hear you. Some of you guys were asking. Any other messages for Capricorn? I'm also getting um, alignment of your, your shadow self uh, and your masculine and feminine. Yeah, a lot of alignment and balanced energy coming in for you because of this realization, because of just going for whatever it is you wanted to go for and you surprised yourself in the process. Whole new level of growth for you, Capricorn. And it's beautiful. People are noticing. People are really noticing. Any other... Oh. We got a King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Hmm, who is this person, Capricorn? I feel like this person is watching you. I feel like this person is watching you. Like I said, you know them. You do know them. If it's work-related, you probably don't. But if you are just social with them or this was a social relationship, like friends or family or a lover, you go, you two haven't been talking. You haven't been talking. There's something about this character that's bugging me. Any other messages? Wow. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Piscean Energy. Oh, Capricorn. Some of you got a lover. Some of you have a bit of a, I don't even want to say secret admirer because you know them, because you know them. And I think you're aware that they have some emotion for you. I don't think you're aware of how much though. Capricorn, you are their 10 of cups. You're their 10 of cups. You're their 10 of cups. My guides are like, yep, that's it. That's all, it, that's all you got to say about that. You're their 10 of cups and you don't even know it. You know they have emotion for you. You just don't realize how much you are this person's 10 of cups. Such a shame you two aren't talking. Any other messages for Capricorn? Wow, Ten of Pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. There's been a falling apart of a foundation here. I'm also getting um, family family squabble. I never use that word, squabble. Family squabble going on here. Hmm. Mm. Capricorn, that you could be experiencing this. I feel like I feel like actually it might be both of you. Capricorn, you've come to some knowledge about your family. And some acceptance about your family and where you come from. And in doing so, I think that has helped you grow. Some of you have worked on your family issues, your inner child issues, your inner child woundings, so to speak. And it's helped you grow into who you are now, putting a lot of that shit behind you. But I'm also getting squabbling, like, like active arguing. A lot, this, a lot of this shit has been coming up for people. Active arguing. I'm also getting um, <clears throat> like crumbling at work. Crumbling of a business, this is not your energy. The crumbling at work is not you. It's someone who's wanting your help. <laughs> Sorry guys, my allergies are pretty bad right now. Whatever this crumbling energy is in someone's work environment, it's someone who's looking at you, studying you because you're the key. Sorry, I thought this at 555, we're way past that. Because you're the key to fixing it. So yeah, guys, I'm picking up on a lot of different stuff. Just hold on to whatever resonates with you because all this is a general reading for a lot of different people. Hold on to what resonates. Not every detail is going to resonate for everybody, okay? So all this King of Swords look at you, looks at you at their Ten of Cups, as their Ten of Cups, it would make them so happy. <coughs> Jeez. <clears throat> you would make this King of Swords very, very happy. There's an energy of family squabbling. I feel like it's on their end, like their family's arguing about something. Um, I'm also getting this energy of crumbling at work or crumbling work environment and someone's looking to you as the answer to their prayers, the answer to fixing things because someone recognizes your worth, someone re recognizes your value, your work ethic and realizes, okay, if, if anyone wants a, su a successful business, let's look to Capricorn. 
yeah i'm also getting a long-standing foundation that's fallen apart i do feel this energy of possibly someone's relationship is coming to an end but in doing so they're kind of looking at you at like their next option i don't know how you feel about that you probably don't feel all that awesome about that but let's keep it going yeah you guys didn't like that i just felt that you guys did not like that like oh i'm just next in line for this person like take a number I don't think this person cut is like that. I mean, they, this King of Swords clearly has a lot of emotion for you. Clearly has a lot of emotion for you, but take that how you want to take it, okay? Any other messages for Capricorn? Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. Let's see here. So we have three other cards out here. We have strength in reverse leo energy not surprised a lot of leo cards going to be out here for a while oh wow moon in reverse piscean energy also cancerian for me as a reader a lot of truth coming out and a lot of light being shed a lot of light being shed on um things that have been hidden for a while and then we have the page of pentacles i feel like this is the king of swords energy this is the king of swords energy yeah it's like capricorn you're coming into knowledge that they've been studying you very clearly this is a studious card, the Page of Pentacles. It also can be just like someone starting out in something new and trying to figure it out, get their sea legs. Uh, but this is being revealed. And with Strength in Reverse, it's also being revealed that this person is lacking confidence to approach, which I was already picking up on. They're lacking confidence to approach, which is why they're also still not talking to you and not telling you that you're their ultimate happiness. You're their ultimate happiness. For some, this is also a business relationship. Um, for others, this person is experiencing really shitty stuff going on at work and they think that you're the answer to their prayers. Uh, this person is also can also be squabbling with their family. The Capricorn, like I said, I was picking up that you were dealing with the family shit too. Come back. That you were dealing with some family wounding of your own. You could have been doing this by yourself, just accepting some shit about the family and where you come from and then just dealing with it, healing from it, growing from it. And again, leaving that all behind you because you're enlightened now and it helped you balance out your own energies especially with your masculine and feminine energies within you. They won't let me go. They won't let me pull away from the family squabble and uh, squabble very specifically squabble. <laughs> and anyway, overall energy, we have page of cups. Oh, I like this energy. Um, oh shoot. I forgot about that. <laughs> this page of cups energy. Um, this is usually an apology for me as a reader. I'm also getting that someone has been very, very uh, greedy. Someone's been very greedy. Greedy with what? Taking the lion's share. With taking the lion's share. But it's it's emotions, though. It's emotions. Somewhat. Oh, okay. It's this king. It's this king. This king might be giving you an apology. Ca Hold on. This king might be giving you an apology, Capricorn. And if they are, you already know what it's for. It's going to be different things for all of you because some it's just purely work. Um, but they've been very greedy with energy is kind of what I'm getting here. This person, I think, has had a lot of healing to do in their own right. And Capricorns, there might have been a history of almost being like an energy vampire to you. But I don't think they realized they were doing that. Like, they really care about you a lot and you do make them incredibly happy. But that's because your energy is very compatible for them. But it's like, I just get like a taking, a little bit of a taking here because it made them feel good because they needed that healing. So they just took it from you, not realizing that's what they were doing. But either way, I do feel an apology coming in for a lot of you. And this is also um, an offer of emotion, an offer of emotion. And I'm also getting for some, there might be a gift involved in this. Peace offering, I just heard peace offering. There's a peace offering coming from this person. Okay, I'm liking this Capricorn. I'm really liking this. Um, I don't really want to hang on to this energy too much because I feel like this is actually recent past for you as you're coming into this. But a lot of you are, are already here in this place of balance and enlightenment and you've already put a cycle behind you. For some, you've already put this king behind you. Um, and that's what's prompting them to come in as well. For some, you're very... Uh, energetically connected to this king very telepathically connected and because you've done this growth and you put them behind you they're like damn maybe i should come in and talk to capricorn <laughs> they could sense it they could sense it yeah let's look at this ten of pentacles in reverse i i gotta see what all this shit's about we're gonna get a lot of cards for this energy let's go into this i'm gonna use rider weight to clarify tell me about 
Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This, okay, but for those where this is purely romantic, uh, <laughs> you get this king going, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Capricorns, you get this king going. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. For Capricorn, regarding love. <laughs> it's funny because it's like, these two energies are almost polar opposite. Like a King of Swords in reverse is someone who is a little bit more cold hearted, right? Someone who is a little bit like, fuck everyone else. I only care about myself. You know, it's that kind of energy. But you warm this person's heart so much. They like, they can't deny it. They can't deny it. Basic, I'm almost getting like, um, uh, from like Wizard of Oz, like the Tin Man. What, everyone loves the Tin Man. He's 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 so adorable, right? He's adorable, but he's tin, right? And he needs a and he needs like well, actually, wait. No, Crow needs a brain. Lion needs heart of courage. What does the Tin Man need again? No, Tin Man needs the heart, doesn't he? Okay, full on confession. I have not seen the whole movie of Wizard of Oz, but no, he needs a heart. Someone needs a brain. Someone needs a heart. Oh, and someone needs courage. Lion needs the courage. Yes, so the Tin Man needs the heart. You gave him the heart. <laughs> You're dealing with the Tin Man. A, a, a less fuzzy, a less warm and fuzzy, a less adorable Tin Man, mind you. Or Tin Woman. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. For Capricorn regarding love. August 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn regarding love. August 2nd to the 11th. Someone's got some shame. What's this about? Oh, okay. I'm getting a couple things. Someone has some shame about what they did to you, Capricorn, this King of Swords, basically, which is why they're lacking the courage to kind of come in. But it's being revealed to you that they're studying you and that they do want to offer you something, a peace offering of sorts. They do have some shame about that. I'm also getting a lot of hangups about the bedroom. Capricorn, I know you're not going to like that. And I don't think it's you. I think it's the other person. Could always be vice versa. But yeah, I'm getting someone has some hangups in the bedroom about their body. Oh, and their performance. Oh, this kind of, oh, I don't like this energy. This is kind of sad. I'm picking up on masculine energy. It's definitely going to be for a good chunk of you. But it's it's more like the masculine energies that you're involved with, that, that you may or may not be involved with coming from this King of Swords in reverse, where I think they had a history of dealing with partners who, for whatever reason or another, weren't very satisfied with their performance. You know, and I think it was probably just a case of just not a good match, right? I think that's really more what it was, but that's not how it came across to the King of Swords. It came across to the King of Swords like they can't perform in a manly way. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Uh, and they carry some shame and embarrassment with that. But I, I think they have the wrong idea. I think they were just with people who didn't know how to communicate in the bedroom. So things never really were awesome. Oh, God, this sucks to, to talk about. Things were not really awesome for them in the bedroom. And I think their partners might have made that very well known. But there were no resolutions coming from that to fix it. Just a case of just, like, you know, incompatibility in the bedroom. But I think this person, because they have rarely had experiences where there was a lot of compatibility, where it was awesome and amazing, um, they kind of just think it was all about, it was their issue. Like, oh, it must be something wrong with me. That's really unfortunate. And I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. Um, and you know, it's it's also one of those things where, I don't know if any of you guys have been there. Oh God, this is like total confession time. Where, you know, let's say it's not really working right in the bedroom. So like you're trying to communicate, but because someone is so caught up on the fact that like, oh no, I'm not performing the best. It's not perfection, it's not perfection. They get so stuck on that that they don't try to like try new things and get lost in the fun of it, right? In the fun of trying to get it perfect. So they get so insecure about what they're doing or what they're not doing that they just don't, they can't enjoy themselves. It's that, it's that kind of energy. It's that kind of energy. Um, yeah, I'm picking up on a masculine energy who's had a lot of issues with uh, feeling emasculated in the bedroom. That's not cool. That ain't cool. Anyway, let's keep it going. What about Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Capricorn. 
regarding love. <laughs> Can I get another download? Jesus. How, how long are we going to hang out in the bedroom, guys? <laughs> okay, and the, I'm getting another download here. This person, I, okay, I think this is what the biggest issue is for a lot of these King of Swords who have this bedroom issue problem. They were with people who were not secure in themselves. So imagine that. Imagine being in the bedroom with someone who's not even secure within themselves. So because they're not secure, they're not really fully just letting it all hang out, you know, really fully just going for it, having fun. And so instead of just recognizing it's their problem, they they kind of like, they internalized it. Like, oh no, there's something wrong with me. There must be something wrong with me. They're not comfortable. They're this, they're that. And for some of them, because they were so insecure about their bedroom or the body or what have you, they turned it on to the King of Swords and made it their problem because they don't know how to deal. That's unfortunate. Okay, 10 of Pentacles, please. Can we move on to the 10 of Pentacles in reverse? Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. August 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. Okay, I'm just going to say this one thing. Because, I, okay, I love Margaret Cho. Hey, Margaret Cho. I doubt she'll watch this, but hi, Margaret Cho. I love her to pieces. She has a joke and it's like it's it's a joke that she's had for a long time where it's basically like if you give a shit about like what anyone looks like when you're having sex with them, you really shouldn't be having sex with them in the first place. Like you really shouldn't. And it totally is true. Not nearly as funny as how I'm delivering it. I'm not a comedian. Not a comedian. That's not my professional job. Um, but it's that, you know, that's just a rule of thumb. I think everyone should take home with them. If you're so uncomfortable with yourself, um, you need to work on that. You need to work on that for the for the bedroom right because it is about having that full-on intimacy with someone to just be yourself to be yourself and to really embrace someone's energy all of their energy and all of who they are and it's a very beautiful thing it is a beautiful thing but if you can't get past your own hang-ups it could become a problem just in the fact of exchanging energy with someone in full-on intimacy you can't be fully intimate with someone if you can't even really be like that with yourself right so just something to take home guys tell me about ten of pentacles in reverse tell me about ten of pentacles in reverse for capricorn regarding love i can feel some of you did not like that comment sorry just telling the truth tell me about ten of pentacles in reverse all right so we have ten of wands Sagittarian energy, yeah, major burden. Major burden from family squabbles. Capricorn for you, at least the feminine Capricorns I'm picking up on, um, the family issues that you were accepting and growing from and healing from, learning from. And for others where there's someone who's having a crumbling business, they're very overburdened, very overburdened and stressed, and they're looking to you as the answer. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love. August 2nd to the 11th. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. I'm getting like someone just doesn't know what the fuck to do about this. A lot of stagnant energy. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is a stubborn energy, like can't move forward, can't move at all. Can't move at all. Someone feels very um, imprisoned in this kind of energy. Capricorn, like I said, you healed from it. This person who's dealing with family squabbles, they feel very imprisoned by it and they don't know what to do. And again, those that are um, have someone who's having a crumbling business, having their eye on you, they don't know how to fix the situation without your help. All right, let's see what else we got here. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Capricorn regarding love, August 2nd. That moon in reverse again, Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. Clarity. Full clarity is going to be known to all in this situation. That's what they're telling me, to all. Everyone involved in the situation, everyone that the situation touches will know the full truth. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, what did I say about imprisoned? Emperor in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Nine of swords in reverse. This person's very upset. This person's very upset and that's going to be very well known. That's going to be very well known here. Um, this person feels like they, they don't have control over the situation. And this person, I feel like, needs to feel that way. Like, 
this can, this emperor universe is the same as the king of swords universe this person needs to have control over situations to feel comfortable and when they don't have control or they feel like something is spiraling out of their control or that people control them they can't deal they don't deal very well they need to be leader they need to be alpha they need to be number one that's the kind of energy i'm picking up on and again i'm getting that emasculated energy again with this which is why they need so much control because they've they've had a lot of experiences where feminine energies have emasculated them oh that's awful and for some publicly oh that's terrible that's really awful i also pick up this energy where my feminine capricorns my female dominant capricorns that you might be getting over this person like i said you put this person behind you and they can feel that for some they can feel that all right let's see what else we got here tell me more about the ten of pentacles in reverse tell me more about the ten of pentacles in reverse for capricorn regarding love august 2nd to the 11th all right so we got three other cards out here wow Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, so double confirmation there. Strength in reverse, Leo energy, and Nine of Cups, Piscean energy. I love that we're ending on the Nine of Cups. I love that because someone just wants to be happy. Like, someone just wants to feel feel fulfilled. That was really hard to say. Feel fulfilled. That's all someone wants here. I feel like it's this masculine energy. That's all they want. This Ten of Pentacles in reverse energy is really, really hit them in their self-esteem, hit them in their confidence, hit them in their ego. Yeah. It just makes them feel small. It makes them feel inferior. It makes them feel like they can't really get shit done, which is also another reason they haven't approached you. It's another reason they haven't approached you. It's like they're trying so hard to get their wish fulfillment. They're trying so hard to get their wish fulfillment and their ultimate wish fulfillment would be the ten of cups but they're not approaching you yet because they they don't feel stable enough they don't feel stable enough they don't feel confident enough they're not secure enough in their actions and also in their thoughts is what i'm getting that's interesting not secure enough in their thoughts like i thought this would work out i thought this was the best strategy why didn't it work why didn't it work like almost feeling they can't trust their own mind and capricorn my feminine dominant Capricorns, they see you as being very happy. <laughs> they see you as being very, very fulfilled in life. Very fulfilled in life, very, like more than content, having more than what most people have as far as your emotions are concerned. So being incredibly happy, no matter what your actual situation is and the tangible with your career and what have you, you are very happy and they see that. And seeing how happy you are just intimidates them even more. Overall energy, we do have Six of Cups, Scorpionic energy, could also be past life, karmic, soulmate energy. Underneath that, we do have Eight of Wands, Sag energy. Underneath that, we do have that King again. Got that King of Swords in reverse again. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. They want to talk, Capricorn. They really want to talk. They want to move forward. That Six of Cups energy feels very sweet. Feels very sweet. Feels very warm and fuzzy. They want to talk to you. They feel like you are someone who's a very much of a kindred spirit, regardless of who you actually are to this person. A kindred spirit, someone who is very warm, someone who is very understanding as well. Capricorn, some of you remind this person of a parent or like a grandparent, and it brings up really sweet memories for them. That's actually really cute. I like that. So if you're a female, for example, this King of Swords uh, looks at you as someone who reminds them of like their grandmother or their mother and it just brings up like the really pleasant memories of their childhood and to be honest I don't think this person has many of those pleasant memories of their childhood and they do want to move forward. It's almost like a return to the past kind of energy. They want to come towards you because you remind them of pleasant memories of the past and you do make them incredibly happy. It's really sweet. It's really sweet. But like I said, they're having a hard time approaching because they're dealing with their own insecurities, okay? Especially for those who want to pursue you romantically, they're trying to deal with their bedroom issues. They're trying, but they're having a hard time, and they're really worried that they're going to make a, a misjudgment with you. Like I said, they don't even really trust their own mind a little bit here. Um, you know, like they're looking at you like, oh, Capricorn is different. Capricorn's sweet. Capricorn's understanding. Capricorn's this side of the other. But what if I'm wrong? What if I'm wrong and they're just like all those other people who emasculated me or made me feel insecure in the bedroom, right? 
And like I said, Capricorn, it's coming to light that this person wants to make an offer to you, a peace offering, um, that they are studying you, but that they're lacking the confidence here. So let's look at the Page of Pentacles. No, the moon, the moon, the moon. Let's look at the moon in reverse. See what we get with that, and then we'll start pulling some advice. I'm going to use Gilded Tarot to clarify. Tell me about the moon in reverse. For Capricorn regarding love. August 2nd to the 11th. I don't want to say this all this bedroom shit i'm sorry guys <laughs> you know my reads are normally not dominated by the bedroom stuff um but they're bringing this up that there is um some masculine energies that are insecure about size you know what i mean um I, I, not to be tmi most men don't have the proper perception of size and what and what that really means for females okay um but whether this male has whether these male energies have a reason to be insecure or not again it's just a body encasing a soul as far as as far as i'm concerned it really doesn't matter it really does not matter um but just keep in mind feminine energies that you might be dealing with a masculine energy who's very insecure about their size okay tell me about the moon in reverse for Capricorn regarding love August 2nd to the 11th tell me about the moon in reverse for Capricorn regarding love August 2nd to the 11th I'm not down for that like public humiliation that's really that's shitty tell me about uh, moon in reverse for Capricorn regarding love August 2nd to the 11th Tell me about Moon in Reverse for Capricorn regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about Moon in Reverse for Capricorn. Page of Pentacles. Okay, we might get some repetitive shit here. Page of Pentacles, again, that peace offering, that steady energy. Tell me about the Moon in Reverse for Capricorn. You know, I picked up on this energy once before, and it was a while back. Capricorn it was a while back so I can't really recall exactly when this was but this energy of like really like enjoying looking at you really enjoying looking at you watching you not in a creepy way just like in a very like admirable like oh look at Capricorn you know it's like it's very sweet it's very sweet uh you could have gone to school with this person I'm getting a lot of student school energy as well tell me about the moon in reverse for Capricorn I just heard longtime friend as well. Some of you, this is someone that you were friends with first. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Okay, two of swords in reverse. I like that. Moon and Libra energy. So making that decision to, to make the peace offering. You're learning that they're making the decision to come forward, which is interesting because it's like you almost know before they come in. So I don't know if you're going to get a little heads up from spirit or from a friend of yours or from just mutual people that you know, but it's like you're gonna know they've made the decision to come in and then they're gonna come in. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Oh, I'm sorry, this is cute. Tell me about the moon in reverse for Capricorn regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about the moon in reverse. This person smiles a lot when they think about you. That's really adorable. Like if they just kind of get lost in a daydream, they just start to smile. They get that goofy smile. Everyone loves that smile. Now we have nine of pentacles, which is Virgo energy. This is also my pre-empress card, a very single energy. Capricorn, this is you. This is them literally making a decision about you, making the decision to come in with a peace offering. Look at that. They're even looking at you in the cards. <laughs> just watching Capricorn, watching Capricorn. Uh, very single, very independent, uh, very, very attractive is also what I'm getting. Um, almost magnetic. You're very magnetic to this person. They, it's almost like they can't resist you. They can't resist your energy. They can't resist your energy. Um, you're rocking it, Capricorn. You're rocking it. Overall energy. Oh, God, more of that study energy. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Studying the shit out of the situation and out of you and the best approach and how, like, like almost all the possibilities. Like, how is this going to go? Okay. If I do this, then A, B, or C may happen. Okay, what should I do if A, B, or C happens? Okay, well, if I try this approach, what about this? Oh, no, then like six things could happen. It's like this person's really like almost doing too much 
to prepare for this. It's almost too much. It's almost too much. But they are studying you quite a bit. They can't help themselves. They can't help themselves. You're their ultimate happiness and they already know it. They've decided on that as well. They've decided on that as well, that you are their ultimate happiness. Underneath that, we do have the world. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, which does rule Capricorn. Starting a whole new cycle, and I'm also getting a risk. A risk. It's a risk for this person, but that's why they're studying it so much. Because it's a bit of a risk for them because of their insecurities. <laughs> My guide's like, and their bedroom securities. I know, we, we talked about that. <laughs> I don't know why they want me to hang on to that so much. Um... Maybe just as a reminder, Capricorn, that if you go down that route with this person, to just keep that in mind, that they do have some insecurities about their body and their performance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? All right, so let's go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm, not I'm not saying that. Uh, let's go ahead and get some advice for you, Capricorns. Uh, and for those where it's, it might be you who have the issues in the bedroom, um, or, you know, they're your, your own little insecurities. We've all got a little something we got to work through. No one's perfect. And we've all been there, right? We've all been there. Um, honestly, spend a lot of time naked. Just look at yourself naked. Walk around naked. Um, it's your body, you know? If you don't love it, who's going to love it, right? Um, that'll help a lot with a lot. It'll help a lot for those who are struggling with that uh, body image issue, okay? And at the end of the day, guys, we're just meat suits. We're just meat suits holding a soul. That's, that's it, right? All right, any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? And trust me, no one's body is perfect. Maybe like, I don't know, 1% of the world has a perfect body. Like maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I, who knows what the percentage is? But most people have something about their body that they would like to be better. But got to love your, your own body for someone else to love it back. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns? Come on. Regarding this spread, one more. Okay. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? 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 Any advice? Oh! <laughs> Oh, I like it. Wait, um, why am I getting predator and prey with this? The wolf's looking at that rabbit like, oh, yum. <laughs> Sorry, rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. 49, that breaks down to a four. And wolf spirit, truth, uh, turn, truth, turn knowledge into wisdom. 67, that breaks down to a four. You have two fours here, Capricorn. I definitely feel this king of swords eyeballing the Capricorn. Like, yummy, yummy. Num, num, num. <laughs> Sorry. Cracking myself up. Um, anyway, Capricorn, there's definitely that dynamic going on. A lot of watching, figuring out how to get you, figuring out how to claim you, figuring out how to set you in stone in their life. And now is a lucky time with turn knowledge into wisdom. This is about growing, healing insecurities, and learning that, right? Learning that, hey, we are all meat suits. And we, you know, having hangups about our body is really not conducive to, to us at all. It's not conducive to anything or getting anything done, really. But now is a lucky time. It's time to pounce is also what I'm getting. So masculine energies, pay attention. It's time to pounce. It's time to pounce. I'm also getting a lot of fertile energy with this. So please be mindful of that because there is some sexual energy here. This King of Swords is really gets really turned on by, this femi by the feminine energies who are watching this reading. And believe me, both are watching. Both are watching. I can feel the masculine energies watching this. They are watching this. A lot of fertile energy. If you don't want any babies, decide that now, okay? And take preemptive strikes against that. Someone is also looking at these feminine energies like they are basically the future mother of their children or for future co-parent of their children. Let's see what else we got here. I just heard feminine wiles. That's interesting. I just heard feminine wiles.
my feminines there is something about your feminine wiles that really incredibly like <laughs> like would make this person just kind of like god how do i say that how do i say that um like jello legs it's like they just they melt over you but i don't even think you gotta really try that hard the chemistry's there the chemistry's there the emotions there the connection's there it's just about being authentic with each other and being very intimate with each other being very honest with each other okay and also i don't know why i feel this way and this is just a personal thing that's not like don't take this on with you if you don't agree it's just a personal thing of mine i don't know why that feels manipulative to me but it kind of does a little bit i mean it's just it's just an, an animalistic thing we all you know try to be as attractive as possible when we really want someone right that's a very natural thing but with this person in particular you already know you have them capricorn you already know you have them i guess is what i'm getting at you already know you have them any other advice for Capricorn? Any other advice for Capricorn? Oh my God. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So you got three other cards out here. Let's see what else we got. Any other advice for Capricorn? Oh yeah, I'm getting a lot more about building up confidence. Any other advice for Capricorn regarding this spread? Any other advice for Capricorn? I'm getting someone has some weird defense mechanisms. Hold on, let me get this in the, let me pull up these cards and I'll tell you the download I just got. So we have Parrot Spirit, 45, breaking down to a 9, watch your words. Cat Spirit, claim your independence, 13, breaking down to a 4. That's the third 4. 4, 4, 4. It might be really important for you guys. And Frog Spirit, clear out the clutter, 28. It's a cyclical energy here, okay? So to gain this confidence, this is the energy that you want to achieve, Capricorn, and definitely for the masculine energies who are watching, the King of Swords energies that are watching. Um, confidence, but not overly confident, not obnoxious, not cocky, not arrogant, just true quiet graceful confidence and independence very much like that nine of pentacles energy that a lot of my feminines are already in but this weird defense mechanism i was picking up for some of you male or female when you guys get nervous your words come out a little funky like you might say really inappropriate things you might come off as defensive or an ass or bitchy or, or not so smart, even if you're really intelligent. It's just like your words get misconstrued when you get nervous. And so to deal with that nervousness, just dig deep and know that when you interact with this, when you two interact, some of those nerves might get triggered. And so just kind of prepare yourself for that ahead of time. Prepare yourself for that ahead of time. Even if you got to like take pauses in between sentences when talking to this person, just so you don't come off as not yourself just so you don't come off as not yourself and for some there is a little bit of insecurity wrapped up in that okay so be mindful of that and clearing out the clutter is going to help you with that as well to really heal any little last little thing you need to heal especially regarding insecurities insecurities are at the forefront of this for both energies but the feminine energies feel a lot more solid in their confidence okay so just something to keep in mind for my ma my more my more masculine energies work on any insecurities that are going on in, in this okay because the confidence has to be on point because it's time to pounce. It's time to pounce. I'm also getting that this masculine energy has learned a lot about the feminine energy and that maybe some previous approaches were not the best. Previous approaches were not the best here. Um, so they're going to be trying a different approach. Softer. I actually just heard softer and more direct. That's interesting. Softer and more direct. You know, they could have tried an approach where it's like it was much more like aggressive but not really just saying what they wanted and so i think that kind of like made the feminine not so like jivey with it like not jiving so well with it but more direct but softer overall we do a fox spirit think on your feet 27 breaking down to a nine strategy comes to mind with this strategy and wit someone likes verbal foreplay hey get you get to each their own a little verbal foreplay goes a long way just saying um, it does but someone likes to have like intelligent conversation as foreplay which i think is actually really cute um not everyone can do that though especially for those who get nervous and 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 say really inappropriate things um so for those that like the verbal foreplay maybe try to know your audience right know your audience like okay maybe that's not gonna work so well with this person it's almost like trying to explore each other's like turn-ons and turn-offs <laughs> it's really interesting exploring each other's turn-ons and turn-offs and 
and like recalibrating yourselves to like, not recalibrating, what's the word? What's the word? Oh, what is that? Like pivot, thank you, pivot. <laughs> like pivot around that, like, oh, oh, that's not working. Okay, let me try this way. Oh, okay, that's okay, okay. And then you're gonna get into a groove and it's gonna be really nice. <laughs> Capricorn, I loved this reading. I thought it was really sweet. I thought it was really endearing. Decide how you feel with this King of Swords. I think some of you are actually going to be really happy to hear from this person. Um, and like I said, something with that feminine wiles, like don't overdo it too much. Hey, be flirty, be cute. Do it, you know, put up, put on your moves, whatever your, your moves are. Everyone's got their own move, right? Um, you can do that. I'm just saying don't be too much because this person is already lacking in their confidence and they're already kind of intimidated. That's kind of what I was getting at earlier. It was just hard to come out. But anyway, Capricorns, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Capricorns.